Bitcoin is about to explode and this time I fully prepared myself to get in on the upcoming gains. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Johannes Patel and in this video I will explain to you why I believe that Bitcoin will surpass $100,000 per coin by the end of the year. If you're new to this channel, make sure to watch this video up here where I predicted Bitcoin to hit $25,000, which it never did. So basically you can say I was completely wrong. I personally don't think so. Even though Bitcoin never touched $25,000, it did touch 28,800 once, which for me personally is close enough and makes me stick to my theory or idea that I had to begin with. The wick of distribution was all over social media a couple of months ago where everybody was talking about the Bitcoin manipulation and how big companies, whales, made money while we were losing money. This was a big topic when Bitcoin dropped from $60,000 all the way down to $30,000. Now I believe we're in a different phase and nobody seems to talk about this. I'm talking about the wick of accumulation, which I believe is happening right now with a very very clear end in sight. Before I show you some charts that validate my theory or my idea of what's gonna happen with Bitcoin, I'd like to invite you to help me out with the YouTube algorithm by liking this video. Just a small little smash -roni. and that's it. So this is the wick of accumulation theory and that is the Bitcoin four hour chart. I know it's not identical, but it's very close, which gets me very excited. Let's just start with the wick of accumulation. So here is what it looks like. So when you look at this chart, I believe that that was the downtrend from $60,000 down to $30,000, which then hit the first mark, the SC, which stands for selling climax. This is the point where heavy selling or panic selling is absorbed by so-called whales because those whales are hungry they eat up all the cheap bitcoin at once which rallies up the price from their buying power to the ar which stands for automatic rally after they accumulated the first cheap bitcoins they stop buying which then brings down the price again so because the whales stop buying this drops the price and brings us to the secondary test as you can see in phase a st secondary test this is where the demand and the supply balance is tested to see where we are at in the market. This continues in phase B until we find the spring, which I believe was the moment Bitcoin hit $28,800. The spring is technically another test for whales to just, you know, see where we are at, what's the supply, what's the demand, and they can just scoop up a lot of Bitcoin at a very low price. On top of that, they confuse or mislead the general public because now we have a massive drop to $28,000. Everybody's panicking and everybody's selling again to the whales. So basically the whales are just opening their mouths and they're like, okay, let, let it happen. And then panic selling happens. They absorb everything because they have so much money, so much buying power, the price jumps back up. According to the wick of accumulation, the spring is followed by another test which I believe already happened too. So I personally believe that we are really close to the end of like phase C, like really close at the edge of like phase D already. So this brings me to my theory that we will see another $45,000 Bitcoin very soon. And don't ask me if it's gonna happen in one week or six weeks, I don't know. But like according to the wick of accumulation, if that's actually happening and right now it's like, it's it's, perfectly aligned with the Bitcoin charts. So I believe we will see a $45,000 Bitcoin very soon, which then leads us to the SOS, which stands for sign of strength, which usually also brings a high volume into play. And as you can see in the chart after the SOS, we will see a very bullish trend. If the wick of accumulation is correct, we will see a couple bounces after the SOS, probably between 45 to $41,000 before we arrive in phase E, which then has a very bullish trend. I believe that we will see new all time highs, but I don't want to predict the price right now. Will it surpass $100,000? I strongly believe it will, but I don't know how high we will go. So this is just my personal opinion, my theory, uh, which brings me to a very important point. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do your own due diligence before you invest in cryptocurrency. C -c 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 currency. It's your money, it's your responsibility. So how high can Bitcoin go by the end of the year? I honestly, 
I have no idea. I've been trying to gather as much information as possible, but to pr predict the price of Bitcoin by the end of the year, it would just be irresponsible for me to just say a random number right now. I just want to make sure that I make a, a good decision by the end of the year to not sell too early or not sell too late. What I do know for a fact is that I won't be able to time the market perfectly, which is absolutely fine. So I think I will just have to look at the charts whenever we surpass $100,000, look at all my indicators that I'm well aware of, like how to use them, and then I'll just make a decision when we're there. Right now, it's it's hard for me to say where we're gonna land. Currently, I'm not concerned about where it's gonna go because I was busy buying more coins during this sideways trend, and I just gathered more and more coins, which also pay me interest on a daily basis. If you have any cryptocurrency laying around that's not producing any interest right now, make sure to check out blockfi.com slash Johannes. You can get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think will happen with Bitcoin and all your favorite cryptocurrencies. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.